Hi everyone. Uh, here I am to discuss uh, one more new drug for COVID-19. It is also under emergency use approval. So we are still under trial, but because of a pandemic, this is this drug are approved under emergency use authorization by the Drug Control General of India on 5th of May, this 2021. So what are these drugs? That is a combination of two drugs that is called Pasirivimab and one more is called Imdevimab. Now these are monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies. And remember, this ends with VI. So if they are ending with VI, remember they are for virus. And how do you remember the name? Siri, you remember the Siri which comes in the apple. So A for apple, apple, Siri, B map. So C A for corona. So just to make you remember this, Kasiri map and Im Devi map. So I am Devi map. So like that, remember that drugs. These are the two drugs which are called monoclonal antibodies. Now, how do we administer that is also given here for intravenous infusion and also for subcutaneous infusion, subcutaneous administration. So it can, comes under two multi-dose vials. You now, what is vial? You can take multiple doses from that. So they come as separate. You can see here in the image. So one is imdevimab and one more is carcirivimab. So these are the combination. That's why this regimen is also called as cocktail regimen. Now why it is called the cocktail regimen? Because we mix both of them. We mix both of them in a normal saline, then administer to the patient as a single intravenous infusion. So it's like cocktail. That's why both are mixed and then given. Now, this is the drug which I was telling you, Carcirivimab and Imdevimab. It was the emergency use authorization given by Drug Control General of India on 5th of May 2021. Now, who is producing this? Roche India, along with partnership with uh, CIPLA company in India, they are going to market this, distribute this. Now, what about before using the drug? We are still in phase three, still the data has to be obtained. But the, until that, this is a pandemic situation. That's why it is given emergency use approval. What does clinical trial tell you? So clinical trial is mainly done in a patient who are mild to moderate COVID-19 patients who are at high risk of getting hospitalized. So in them, when these were administered, it was shown that the risk of hospitalization was decreased by 70% compared to the placebo. And also the duration of symptoms was shortened by four days compared to the placebo. So this 70% is giving some light so that the patients having mild symptoms, mild COVID disease, they don't progress to uh, severity. They don't get admitted to the hospital. That is cut short by this disease, the, this drug. Right? So let us see what is this drug and what is the mechanism of action. Now, as I told you already, these are monoclonal antibodies and they are two recombinant monoclonal antibodies which are unmodified in the FC regions of the maps. They bind to non-overlapping epitope of the spike protein. So the main action is on the spike protein. You know that spike protein is the one which binds to the receptor in our cells and then the virus enters inside. So these are nothing but they act similar to our antibodies which will go and block this virus. Similar to that, these monoclonal antibodies they identify the spike protein, they will block it. Now why do we give these two drugs? One is enough, right? Why are we combining both? Now, Casirimab binds to separate site in spike protein and Imdevimab also binds to some other site. So that's why they are written here, non overlapping epitopes of spike protein. So that is the advantage. Even there is mutations, even there are mutant strains, even with that mutant strain, these drugs will work because they are not binding to the same site. They are binding to the spike protein at different sites. So even there is mutation of spike protein, these are very, very effective. That's why we are combining them. Now this is the mechanism of action. You can see here, this is the virus is Novel COVID-19 virus 
and this is the combination of a map and im deb map and if you see that this is the spike protein and this is binding to some other side and this is binding to the other side so this is the covid 19 virus let me repeat again this is the covid 19 virus and you can see here this is called casirivimab and this is imdevimab now both are binding to the separate separate places onto the virus now when they are binding to the virus like this they cannot attack our cells so the our cells are protected so the virus cannot multiply they are faster and they will not go for hospitalization so this is the mechanism how the drugs will work now for whom was it or is it given emergency use authorization for mild to moderate covid 19 as i told you and that is for high risk of patients who may progress to severe covid 19 and are going to be hospitalized so emergency use authorization for mild to moderate covid 19 patients and who are at high risk of for progressing to severe COVID-19 or hospitalization, which age group it is approved, that is 12 years of age, and also adult, at least he should be weighing 40 kgs. So 40 kg weight and 12 years of age, it is used um, uh, under emergency use authorization. Now, there is a point called high risk. Who are at high risk? Mild and moderate patient, who are at high risk? Now they are the older age people. Older age that is more than or equal to 65 years. Obesity more than 25. Body mass index. Even pregnant women are under high risk. You know that nowadays. PKD patients, diabetes, immunocompromised. Those patients on immunosuppressive disease or immunosuppressive treatment. Cardiovascular disease, chronic lung diseases and sickle cell disease neural development disorders, a patient having medical related technological, technological dependence that means they have tracheostomy or they have uh, some other like non-invasive ventilation not because of COVID-19 but because of some other reason then they require this. Now where it is not authorized which patient we are not going to use it. This is very important many a times Students think that this is for those who are getting hospitalized. No, that is a wrong notion. Now we are, we are using this drug so that the patient who are in mild to moderate and who are at high risk will not go for hospitalization or they will not go for severity. So this is to prevent hospitalization. So remember, we are preventing the virus from infecting more and more cells by blocking their spike protein. So it is similar to vaccination. Now, where it is not used, authorized, that is, who are hospitalized, so that is the purpose we are giving, not to get hospitalized. Then, who require oxygen therapy due to COVID-19? Who require an increase in baseline oxygen flow rate due to COVID-19? In those on chronic oxygen therapy due to underlying non-COVID-19 related comorbidity. So, oxygen therapy we are not giving it. Benefit of treatment with these two drugs has not been observed in patients hospitalized due to COVID-19. So this data is not there. So there is no benefit also is not seen with these drugs when they have done trials. So that's why hospitalized patient it is not used. Particularly remember this point. Monoclonal antibodies may be associated with worse clinical outcomes when administered to hospital patients with COVID-19. So if it has administered to a patient already hospitalized, Particularly, we will require high flow oxygen or mechanical ventilation. It will still cause further worsening. That's why these are not used in these conditions. Please note down, these are not used in these conditions. So these are the conditions where it is not authorized for use. Now, what about the dosage? Now, dosage, the US FDA, even they have given emergency use authorization. In India also, it is emergency use authorization. Now, in US, it is 1200 milligram of Asirivimab plus 1200 milligram of Imdebimab. They both are given together to the patient as single IV infusion. Single IV infusion it is given and it is mixed usually with a normal saline. Now, in India, 
the drug control of general of india they have approved 600 mg of the carcinivimab plus another 600 mg of this uh, i'm desiver sorry im desivimab that is 600 mg so both are mixed and given either they can be given iv or subcutaneous so the route is either iv intravenous infusion or subcutaneous because since they are monoclonal antibodies you cannot give them oral so they are like protein they will be digested now what is the estimated cost the estimated cost comes around rupees 60000 for this 600 to uh, that is if you are using 600 plus 600 and if you are using further it will be 1.2 lakh so this is the cost range of this drug so what is the advantage of this if it comes to the market the patients who are at high risk and who are going to for severe covid 19 that will be prevented particularly you have seen deaths in pregnant women deaths in diabetics deaths in patient who already with immunocompromised state if this is instigated instated that is started within at least 10 days before the infection then it will work wonders so that is what the drug is being claimed so let's hope this drug works and it is claimed to be and this will also become one of the magic bullet for covid 19 so we don't see more patient in the in the hospital so let us treat the patient more in the setting of hospital or home isolation itself so these are the things you have to keep in your mind when you we are discussing about the octal regimen that is carcinivimab plus im devimab so these are the things i wanted to discuss with you the new drug combination uh, which is approved for covid 19 recently under emergency use authorization right so thank you all thank you